Hello there students, we're back for a second round of No Frills Prime and Composite Numbers. We're going to do some teaching, do some together, and then you're going to try some on your own. Okay guys, a prime number is a number that has only itself and the number 1 as its factors. For example, the number 3. What are the factors of 3? What are the numbers that times together to equal three? Not plus together, times together. Okay, there is only two. It is three, which is itself, and one. Three times one equals three. They are the only factors of three. And because the only factors of three are itself and one, that means three is a prime number. Let's have another look at a prime number. Let's look at. The number 7. What are the factors of 7? Well, i tell you right now, to get to 7, you've got to time 7 by 1, and that's all you've got. And because the only factors of 7 are itself and the number 1, 7 is a prime number. Right, let's look at composite numbers. Okay, composite numbers are composed... Compose, compose of many different factors. For example, the number 12, you've got 6 times 2, right? You've got 12 times 1, just like any prime number. Uh, and you've got 3 times 4. And look, there's a whole bunch of factors there. 12 is not limited. 12 has got it itself and 1, sure, and if it just had that, it would be a prime. But as well as that, it's got 6 by 2 and 3 by 4, which means 12 is a composite number. What about one more? Let's look at another composite. Okay, what about the number 20? 20 is a composite number. The factors of 20 are, there's many, there's 20 times 1, there's 5 times 4, there's 10 times 2. Plenty! You can see, and if there was only 20 and 1, then it would be prime, but there's not. There's 5 and 4, there's 10 and 2, so it's a Composite number. And a good way to remember, guys, is composites, like a composition, like a piece of music. It's got lots of different factors, lots of different notes. And a prime number, well, prime just means one or first. Okay, like Optimus Prime, there's only one of them. Um, the Prime Minister, there's only one. They're the first, they're the most important. And, of course, prime numbers have only themselves and the number one as factors. Let's do some together. Right, let's work it out together. The number 22. Prime or composite? Well, think in your head. What are the factors of 22? Okay, well, let me start you off. There's 22 times what? Okay, 1. Right, is there any more? Because if there's more, it's going to be a composite. If there's not, it's a prime. Think hard. Let me give you a hint. 11 times... 11 times what? 2. That's right, also equals 22. So that's actually going to be a composite number. Because you've got 22 and it's and 1, yeah, sure. But you've also got 11 and 2. Okay? Let's do another one. What about... What about 37? Okay, what are the factors of 37? Have a hard think. You've got 37 times what? Times 1. Okay, good. Now, if that's all, if they're the only factors of 37, then we're finished. Can you think of another another number that goes into 37 at all, apart from 37 or 1? Because I can't. <laughs> There's not. That means that 37's only got itself and then number 1 as its factors, so 37 is a prime number. You're going to have a go by yourself at some of these now. Okay, try for me the number 55. Prime or composite? Pause me, find it out. Go on. Okay, we're back. I hope you paused me. Here, 55. You've got 55 times 1, sure. If it's just that, we're a prime number, but there's more. There's 5 times 11 as well, so that would make it a composite number. 
to composite. Let's do another one. What about 31? Okay, pause me. Work it out. What are the factors of 31? Okay, I hope you paused me. I'm right back now. Right, the factors of 31 are, of course, 31 times 1. And if that's all we've got, it's a prime number. Uh, and that is actually the only two numbers that we'll times together to make 31. Okay, just itself and 1. And because it's only itself and 1, that makes it a prime number. Okay. Let's try one more. What about 101? What numbers times together to make 101? Go on, have a pause. Pause me. Right, I hope you're back. I hope you've had a go. Okay, factors of 101 are 100. Whoopsie daisy, sorry. It's not going to stop. Okay, so uh, factors of 101 are 101 times 1. Okay, are there other factors? Is there anything else that times this together to make 101? No, there's not. There's not. It's a prime. Let's have one more go. Go on, only one, I promise. Look at this one. 106. Prime or composite. At this point, I should give you a hint, guys. If it's even, it's always going to be prime, because, I mean, sorry, if it's even, it's always going to be composite, because 2 is always going to go into an even number. But anyway, go and work out is it's, if it's prime or composite. Pause me. Okay, we're back. Let's look at the factors of 106. Right, I wonder how you went. I hope you got 106 times 1. Did you get 53 times 2? There may even be some more factors, but I'm not fussed because I know as long as I've got more than one group of factors, as long as I've got more than just 106 and 1, okay, as long as I've got more than that, I do, I've got 53 times 2, and that means it's a composite number. Okay, guys, that's your second bunch of composite and prime. I hope that was helpful. You can re-watch the video or come and see me if you're still a bit stuck. Cheers.